हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेरी वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लाइव बॉज इंग्लिश कॉर्नर डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर फर्दर इंग्लिश एजुकेशन एंड ग्रामेटिकल वीडियोज बिच आर ऑलमोस्ट अपलोडेड ऑन द डेली बेसिस प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन अपडेट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर टू डेज वीडियो सो इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फ्रेजल वर्ब विच स्टार्ट विद द जी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द फ्रेजल वर्ब विद ए बी सी डी ई एन एफ सो लेट स्टार्ट वर आर द फ्रेजल वर्ब विच स्टार्ट विद जी सो नंबर वन इज to get about what's the meaning of to get about basically the meaning of get about is when we move or when something move from place to place for example i like to get about in the evening it means that i like to go from place to place in the evening second phrasal verb with g is to get about basically we have the same phrasal verb but the meaning will be different in this case the meaning is place to place Number one was move from place to place. In this, we have just place to place. For example, rumors of their divorce are getting about. It means that the rumors of their divorce are spreading everywhere. Number three phrasal verb with G is to get above ahead. What's the meaning of to get above ahead? Basically, the meaning of to get above ahead is to take lead, where one person take lead in something. For example, he is getting ahead others in studies. it mean that he is getting ahead of others in the class number fourth is to get along with what's the meaning of to get along with basically the meaning of to get along with is to manage to survive in a particular condition for example they agree to get along with their business this means that they agree to survive in the particular terms and condition of their business number fifth phrasal verb with g is to get at someone basically to get at someone means to criticize someone when we criticize someone we say to get at someone for example why do you always get at others that why are you always criticizing others so this is basically the meaning of to get at someone number 6 phrasal verb with g is to get away what's the meaning of to get away basically the meaning of to get away here is to escape when we escape something we say to get away for example i often get myself away with my busy routine it's me that i often escape myself from my busy routine number 7 phrasal verb is to get back at what's the meaning of to get back at basically the meaning of to get back at to is to take revenge when we take revenge to someone for something we say to get back at for example we should not get back at others it means that we should not take revenge from others number 8 phrasal verb is to get behind what's the meaning of to get behind the meaning of to get behind is to left behind when someone left behind if we use it in the sentence the sentence would look like work hard regularly lest you would get behind it mean that work hard regularly otherwise you will get behind or you will left behind number 9 phrasal verb with g is to get someone down what's the meaning of to get someone down basically the meaning of to get someone down is to depress someone for example he got his parents down by his miserable result it's mean that due to his bad result his parents got depressed number 10 phrasal verb with g is to get forward what's the meaning of to get forward basically the meaning of the to get forward is very easy it's mean to move forward for example we are getting forward in the industrial field it's mean that we are moving forward in the industrial field number 11 phrasal verb is most commonly used by the students in their daily life to get in the meaning of to get in is to take permission we can say that all students become silent when they get in the library basically it have two meaning to get in basically to enter or to get in to take permission this phrasal verb basically have two meaning number 12 phrasal verb with g is to get into the meaning of to get into is to love someone for example he has got into the study of history that he has got a lot of love and a lot of attraction in the study of history number 13 is to get off the meaning of to get off is to run away if we use it in the sentence it will look like the prisoner got off 
the police custody. It means that the prisoner run away from the police custody. Number 14 phrasal verb with G is to get out. The meaning of to get out is to go out. For example, the teacher ordered the student to get out of the class. It means the teacher ordered the students to go out of the class. Number 15 phrasal verb with G is to get through. What's the meaning of to get through? Basically, the meaning of to get through is to successful. When somebody got success in something. For example, my sister got off the AMPHAL exam with the first position. It means that my sister got first position and she is very successful in the AMPHAL exam. Number 16 is to get to. What's the meaning of to get to? Basically, the meaning of to get to is to annoy someone. For example, you should not let him get to. You should not let him get to you. It means that you should not annoy him. Otherwise, he will get to you. So thank you so much. This was all from my side. This was the video of phrasal verb with G. We have uploaded phrasal verb with A, B, C, D, E and F in detail. The playlist link will be in description. You can go and watch the full video.